Hi guys and welcome back to Sunder Dice. For today's episode we're gonna be talking about the NECA Plush Gordon Final Battle Ultimate Action Figure. So NECA has always been known for a great packaging, nice packaging. And the details and the likeness on the image of the uh, movie characters. <laughs> From Terminator 2 well, the Ninja, Tur Ninja Turtles, they, they've done a great job, okay, and now we've got this one, we've got, uh, okay, the Flash Gordon fans rejoice, cause this is your chance to finally get this, uh, uh, movie version of the Flash Gordon, okay, or starring Sam Jones, uh, okay, the actor known to portray the Flash Gordon, okay, Although there has been no reboot yet, so Sam Jones still remains the uh, Flash Gordon where we grew up, okay, watching it as a child from old television, so it was great, so it's kind of nostalgic, they got kind of nostalgic feels on this action figure, so of course, on the uh, popularity of Star Wars came Flash Gordon and it was also a great hit. Okay, now we've got uh, the action figure that NECA probably releases. So we got this uh, the final battle uh, Flash Gordon. Okay, we got the Sam Jones okay. uh, face here. So kind of really looks like uh, uh, Sam Jones. Okay, so this one's the this one has been the packaging of NECA right now, so... And... I'm so glad that... Okay, NECA is one of my, my favorite uh, toy maker, because, of course, not only for the figure, but also for the other things that comes with it and the accessories. So we got uh, two alternate heads, so that's great, and we got... Uh, alternate hand so this is what I like about this uh, NECA NECA product so it may it might be pricey but it's worth your damn money okay let's not uh, take it so long Let, let's not take too long let's unbox this uh, flash guard okay let's take a look at the box on this one so there you go the uh, back of the bags also below got me and this one kind of looks like a the Hawkman okay. so your creative army build will probably be getting this one this guy so let's unbox this bad boy so okay guys so we've got uh, three alternate hands one with the holding yeah uh, the ones I think is for the trigger gun Finger, finger, and uh, got a you know, uh, the left hand holding hand, and we've got this gun. Okay, let's take a closer look at this gun. Okay, <laughs> this gun here. So, as any of you, okay, for the younger viewers there, as any one of you seen the Flash Gordon? Okay. It may be outdated by this time, but during the time, this was one of the best uh, okay, sci-fi movie. Okay, plus also the soundtrack, okay? the song by the Queen, by the band Queen. Okay, was also great. You remember the Flash Gordon? Yep, yeah, remember it as a kid and his sword here, and we got his some sort of a lamp here. Okay, now this one kind of looks like a cattle hill, cattle here, and we've got uh, two alternate heads. So <laughs> I think they kind of look the same. What are they the same? Um, nope, nope, they're not the same. Okay, the, the uh, eyebrow here and the hair here, so so probably she'll have made a and uh, the mouth she'll have made a mouth that is open 
Okay, so really this looks like a uh, uh, cake Sam Jones from that movie Flash Gordon. Yeah, okay, there you go. And uh, just look at the sand though on this one. So this is the final battle Flash Gordon. Okay. So let's check the articulation on this one. Well, uh, okay, it's too hard on this one. Okay, there you go. We can open this one. It's just too tight. Okay. Okay, there you go. Not that uh, muscular. Yep, for Sam Joseph. Let's try this leg and uh, this one. This is the flash card and the fights the uh, billing me in the movie flash card. Okay, let's try to put on the alternate head. <laughs> okay, this one's kind of okay. Okay, still is a uh, tap here. <clears throat> let's try to put on the alternate head. Okay, there you go. So I think it's just for the okay this figure I think it's for just the fan uh, for those who knows uh, flash garden okay let's try to put on the uh, trigger hand on this one okay so it's just uh till it's tight for this one okay Started it and let's try to put on the gun on this one. Okay, there you go, the gun on this one. There you go, flash garden action figure. Well, really is nice to have this figure. All the, uh, although the costume is kind of outdated, okay. But for the, okay, for the, okay. So this one, okay. Let let's check the abs. So there's no abs. It's just the from the uh, belly button up. So that's the movement. And for the piece, well, this one's the piece. The knee, okay. Let's just see if uh, Flash Gordon can stand on him on itself. Okay, well, he can stand on his own. And uh, let's see how he looks like with the with the sword. Okay, let's we'll try to put in this uh, this one here. And uh, let's see how he looks. Well, there we go. And let's remove this one. Kind of dangerous there. Almost. Oh. <laughs> okay, there you go. Should have made an uh, angrier face on this one. Okay, let's do the pose on this one. <laughs> Almost copy the posting on this one. That will be right, okay. Still, it's kind of hard on this one. This one. Okay, there you go. And almost the likeness on the posting on this one. And for this one, the kettle looking. Okay. It's time to go to my favorite portion. Who do we got? Okay, we got okay. We got atrocities. Okay. 
Uh, it, it's okay to display uh, Flash Gordon here with Atrocitus. Okay. Who else do we got? And we've got Closes here, so almost the same height. And we got uh, Sergeant Rock. Hey, hey, okay. So who's taller, Rock or Colossus? So probably a match on these two. Okay, but we're here to compare him with Flash Gordon. Okay, so Sergeant Rock still taller compared to Flash Gordon. But I think they can coexist. Okay, these two. Okay, these two dudes and. We've got okay. We've got Superman. Oh, hey, hey. We've got a hey, okay. This Superman is smaller compared to Flash Gordon. Uh, okay, let's see Wonder Woman here. Uh, Wonder Woman is taller compared to this. Okay, I think this just to match. Okay. Okay, Sam Jones character is taller than this Wonder Woman. Okay. And who else do we got? We've got okay, we got some other neck here. Ooh, what wonder what's that? Mm-hmm. Got a we got Ninja Turtle, Raphael. Uh, it's, it will be nice if you can display all your toys. Yep, on the shelf. Yeah, maybe one day we I can put all my toys in the shelf. Okay, if you just uh, subscribe and continue to like and watch my other videos and this video. Okay, what do we got? So we got Lobo here from Marlene. Okay, there you go. So, space dude meets the space dude. Okay, Flash Gordon and Lobo. Okay, also probably gonna be uh, doing a mini, a mini stop motion for this one. Okay, just uh, watch out for it. Yes. So, space dude meets space dude. So, okay, okay, yes, that's it. So. Okay, that's it guys, it's time to write this action figure, so... Okay, what I've noticed here is the color on this one, on this, uh, and it's not that uh, same as this one. So that's a minus here for this Flash uh, uh, Garden figure, plus... But I love the details on it. On, um, the articulation and the head, uh, the alternate head should have been at least an open mouthed uh, plush garden. Okay. So, I think my rating for this one is a, I think it's a 9.5 for me. Okay, he got, the, they've got the. Uh, image and likeness of Sam Jones Space Flash Garden here. So, Nega's done, okay, except for this one, this uh, hand here. So, and I think uh, it's pretty outdated on, on this here, this one, the costume here. So, that's a okay, okay, by that time, those that time, okay. It was released in the 80s, early 80s, so it's the design at that time, so not to blame him this one. But still is a great figure, so it's a 9.5 for me, so how about you guys? What do you think of this figure? So you're gonna get him? Be a big Flash Gordon fan? I think so, yeah. It'll be a great addition to your uh, sci-fi movie collection by NECA, so... We only got this from NECA, okay, much cheaper than the other toy line, okay, so NECA's been producing that one, okay, 
Although it's kind of pricey, but it's not that uh, expensive compared to others. So Nega's only been doing that to the sci-fi department and also the horror genre for these action figures. So that's it guys. So it's a 9.5 for me. How about you guys? What do you think of this figure? Comment down below. What do you think? Okay. So as my saying goes, let the toy hunt begins and more toys to open. So don't forget to like and subscribe to me, my YouTube channel, Sander Toys. So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Okay. Thanks for watching again guys. Bye bye.